Sonny's father is here? Yeah, so am I. You're condescending to let me into my own son's house. I'm, I'm honored, I truly am. Would you like me to stay? No, we're fine, thank you. Hey, Mike, um... Sonny's not here right now, but he'll be back soon. Why don't, why don't you sit? Well, that's, that's good. The concerned daughter-in-law act is almost as convincing as the bereaved widow. Mike, that's... Now, you were in on it from the start, weren't you? Mike, I did what I had to to support my husband. Before, when we were taking care of her, the safe house, Brenda said all she wanted once Alcazar was stopped would be to go away. Now, away isn't real specific. I'll set her up in a house in Europe. She enough money, live quietly until she can't take care of herself. She told me she wanted to be institutionalized. I said I would arrange it for her, and she was she was pretty grateful. At well, the time. yeah, but at that time, you know, she she thought I was dead. So what are you saying? I shouldn't. Have Benny do research, find the best clinic that deals with Brenda's type of illness. Okay. Set her up maybe somewhere in Europe, near the ocean, Sardinia. Uh, but I, I, she needs to live, you know, near the water, okay, in a house big enough where she's comfortable with a living nurse, you know, if that's what it takes. But just keep it simple because she doesn't, uh, she doesn't like big houses because it reminds her of where she grew up. Her, father's old estate and uh, um, anyway make the arrangements okay and um, yeah, I'll tell Brenda and then you can fly her out there and set her up if that's what you want yeah, yeah that's what I want Thanks. welcome home sweetheart thank you <laughs> Mike, I know you're hurting, but taking it out on me isn't going to make you feel any better. I'm trying to spare you pain. Cut your losses, Carly. Walk out of Sonny's life before he forces you out. She's not going anywhere. Well, if it isn't my one and only son, risen from the dead, that is some act. You know, I think the two of you need to talk, and I have to talk to Jason, too, so All right. step out. What's up? I need your help. I need $500,000. I'm not doing anything illegal, and, and it's really, okay. it's, you know, you don't care about the money, so, Jason, the please, can you just give it to me? What? It's not for anything illegal. I promise it's for something good. Brenda's already leaving. Okay? Mm -hmm. So before I go and give you 500000 I you come up with some crazy plan to have her kidnapped by gypsies, just slow down, take a deep breath, and look what's in front of you. Sonny loves you, and Brenda's leaving. So do you, uh, you feel good about yourself, Sonny? You know, in one grand gesture, you managed to deceive all the people who love you. I mean, did you have us under surveillance? Were you rating our grief, our pain? Mike, I'm sorry that I hurt you. I, you know, I did what I had that to do. So final, I know what you want me that to do. is the final and biggest irony of all. I finally get it, Sonny. I get what you've been telling me all these years. Sorry isn't good enough. Sorry means nothing. Come here. 
Come here, I love you. It's not gonna be okay. It's okay. Hmm. Someone's here to see you. No. It's me, I'm home. Did you miss me? It's a bed. I'm just. I'm just a little like surprised. Yeah, that's the idea. Wait, what are you, Carly? Oh, hey! Oh, come here! Oh, I'm so happy you're home. Oh. I'm gonna fall. You feeling better now? Yeah, I feel great. Give me five, bro. All right. And how it gets swim by the water. Oh, we can't wait to see it. Okay, I tell you what. You can. We'll go to the pool, right? And you can show your mom and me how you do it. Oh, do you know how happy we are that you're home? Do you? Uh -oh. Well, we're a family now, all together, and we can start acting normal again. Hmm? Yeah, that's all we want, right? <laughs> Ooh, right. That's probably Jason. I get it. All right. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's about time. You are never gonna guess who is here. I just need to talk to Sunny for a second. Who's the lady, Daddy? Uh, um, that's Brenda. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, Brenda, this is Michael, my son. Michael. Hi, five. Ugh. Wow, you're strong. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you need? I, uh, I just need to talk to you for a second. Alone, if that's okay. Daddy has business to discuss. You work for my daddy? No, we're just friends. Michael, upstairs. Good night. This won't take Good long. Good night. Oh. Uh, so what's the problem? I just, I, I just wanted to let you know that Taggart has a new angle on things. He's saying that I asked Luis to kill you and Jax. You already know about this. Taggart's bluffing. Oh, he knows about my disease, so he knows I get confused about what's real and what's not. He's twisting my statement around. Just tell the truth. <sighs> right. Yeah, it would have been nice to know you didn't really get shot that night. Yeah, I'd... They would have had it, too. Um, uh, I will take care of you. No, Don't I, worry I, about that. I, I didn't ask you to take care of me. I, I just came to tell you what's going on. on the phone. He needs you. Carly's bad or evil. I always try and find a place where it comes from deep down inside of a reason for it. Um, because we all can be bad. Carly doesn't really think before she acts sometimes. But I do get a rush when I get to be devilish. <laughs> Who doesn't? Soapnet. You know you want to watch. No? I'm, I'm on my way. Everything all right? Yeah, can you hold on for just one second? Okay. What's going on with Jason? Go. Is he okay? No, he's, he's at Courtney's. Um, what, today did she come back? No, Mike's been drinking, and I gotta go take care of it, so I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? All right, I'll be here. Right. Do you need a ride? Oh, no. I, I just need to call a cab. Okay, do you need any money? No, I don't. I borrowed from Ned, I'm fine. Oh. Marco can give you a ride. I'm I'd... fine. Okay. I'm just going to call a cab. Oh, okay. Um, I'll see you then, okay? Uh, I'm just going to use your phone to call a cab. Okay, no. You know what? You're not going to go anywhere. You, uh, don't want me to use your phone. Don't show up on my doorstep, ever. I don't care how much trouble you are in. I don't care how needy or desperate. You know what? You call the cops. You call a shrink. You call whoever you need to, but do not come into my house and give my kid a high five ever again. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. I know you love attention. And I know that your favorite game is Jax versus Sonny with your fabulous self as the ultimate prize. You know what? Sonny could have been killed because of you. And so could Jax. You don't know anything about Jax. Yeah, well, you know what? I know my husband, and I know what you've cost him, and here you are, 
once again at his doorstep with some ridiculous excuse to see him. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to have it, okay? Not tonight and not ever. Do you know if you weren't so sad, you'd actually be kind of funny? Give me a second, all right. I am not Lily, and I'm not going to sit back in silence and suffer while you throw yourself at my husband. Sonny loves you, right? He wants to spend the rest of his life with you, right? So why are you so afraid of me? Turn, here you are. Jason! All right. Where is he? In there. Passed out? I'm not sure. How'd this happen? Uh, Mike, uh, went to Jake's. When he left your place, he was drinking and he wouldn't leave, so I called Courtney. Why'd you call me? Because Mike's angry and you're the last person he wants to see, and I just thought that would make things a lot worse. So you called my little sister out to a bar, uh, to drag her father out? <sighs> Mike really listens to Courtney. Why didn't you call Marco and Max? Why didn't you drag him out yourself? Do you, ha do you have any idea what it's like to deal with your father in a bar? Now, I don't get it. Why did you think it was such a good idea to, to call Courtney? Jason is trying to help. Do you even care? I do not want you anywhere near Jake's. Yeah, Mike is drinking and gambling because of you, not Jason. You should not have to see him like that. And why is he like that, Sonny? Because you made him think that you were dead. You broke his heart. Okay, just when he's getting his life back together, I mean, you'd probably be dead if not for Jason. And all you can do is yell at him? How is that helping anything? Why are you here anyway? Because I'm, I was worried about you. Well, That's don't. why. Well, don't, okay, because I don't need you watching out for me. Okay, I do want Jason to look after you. But only when you order him to? Come on, you guys. You don't have to take this from him. Well, oh, it isn't the mighty Sonny Corinthos in the flesh. How are you doing, Mike? Oh, see how much he cares? Would you drag yourself away from Brenda to come over here? Well, I am honored. You know, you should be, too. Okay, we're going to take this out in the hall. Oh, I'm, I'm in trouble now. Huh? Come on, Mike. I'm not happy about what I did. Now, have you ever been happy about anything? But if I had to do it again, I would. I understand. I already said that I was sorry and it wasn't good enough for you. But this is not good, Mike. Drinking at Jake's. Courtney coming after you. I, I didn't call Courtney. Jason did. Oh, come on. You know, how many times has Courtney come after you when she was a kid? How many times has her mother sent her into a bar? Is that the way you want her to see you like this, huh? Is this what you want? Dragging you home drunk? She's already married to AJ. Isn't that enough? Why do you let him talk to you like that? Sonny's going through a lot right now. But that still doesn't give him the right. Well, he's worried about you. And Mike, and you know, sometimes he doesn't know how to say it, so he yells. It's, it's not fun, but it's, it's no big deal. It's okay. Well, I hope that Sonny knows how lucky he is to have you as a friend. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's all right. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do better, I, I promise. I know you will. I love you, honey. I love you, too. It's okay. Mike is home. Yeah, no problem. I'm going with you. What are you so afraid of? Are you afraid that you're not the love of his life? Are you afraid he just really likes having sex with you? No, Sonny loves me. Well, that's good. Then you should relax, you know? You should try and grow up a little bit. I mean, you're a mom, right? So you should stop being rude to people for no reason. I'm not being rude to you. I'm being honest. Sonny married me. I heard. Yeah, three times. How many times did he marry you? And which one of us did he leave standing in the rain on her wedding day? Yeah. You know what, Sonny was right. You're not strong enough to be his wife. And he walked out on you for a reason because he doesn't want you anymore. So go bother Jax. Leave Jax out of this. Why, Brenda? Isn't he your all-time favorite white knight? Go mess up his life. Jax may be paralyzed. Okay, so Jax can't get you where you need to go, so maybe Sonny can? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> 
Jax might never walk again. I mean, do you care about anybody? Do you? I mean, because you say Jax may be paralyzed, yet you come straight to my husband. When you know that Jax hates Sonny, you just can't be loyal. Can you? I want to know, do anyone's feelings matter but your own? I don't conspire to hurt people. But you do, Brenda. And I'm not going to let you hurt Sonny again. You go play your games with Jax, okay? Right. Because Sonny and I, we are married. We have a family and a life together. I'm not letting okay, you take that from me. Right. Good. You know what? You, what? You talk a lot about protecting Sonny, right? And protecting your family and everything. But I know you. Yeah? Yeah. I remember you. Oh. You don't protect anyone but yourself. Get out. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just uh, I'm going to the hospital. Jax might be paralyzed, so. Can you, can you drive? No, I'm fine. I'm just going to take a cab. Thanks. Sorry. Hey. Hey. How things go with Mike? Uh, Mike's been drunk for, for days, he's, uh, you know, Jason and Courtney had to drag him out of a, out of a bar. How'd it go with Brenda after I left? How do you think? Brenda has no use for me, I have no use for her. And it went back and forth like that for a while, okay? And I just want you to know, she was fine when she left. She only got needy when you stepped off the elevator. I know you got a lot of reasons not to like Brenda. But you got, you got to take my word, okay? Brenda is not a threat. There's no need to get defensive. I am where I want to be. I said that to you. You promised. You believe me. You, I believe. Okay, Brenda is another story. I know what she managed to do to you and Lily. Okay, that was a long time ago, under very different circumstances. Now, Sonny, she's gonna play you every single chance she gets, okay? She's, she's gonna need your help, or she's gonna need you to feel sorry for her. Basically, she's gonna need your attention, because then she'll get Jack's his attention, too. Okay, you know what, what you're saying is probably true, but it does not change the fact that Brenda suffered because of me. Brenda chose Alcazar. Okay, she chose Jax, too, and any pain that you caused her was years ago. Okay, so you just want me to pretend like it never happened? Yes. Is that what you want? I, I, I would. Want... I would love that. Okay. Okay? Right. But I know you, and I know that's impossible. No, I'm fine, thank you. Listen, I just... I guess my question is, how far are you going to go to make up for it? Bye. Thank you. Alcazar took care of Brenda for the last four years. And now she's in limbo. She's in a place, you know, she didn't want to return to and without um, any way to support herself. So naturally she shows up at your door. I want to give Brenda some money. And I want her to uh, be able to have her in some independence and, and enjoy her life, you know, why she still can't. You know, I mean, that we should, you know, she could take care of herself instead of um, depending on, on the quartermates. Or Jax. Okay, I get it. That's what this is really about, isn't it? No. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Neither one of the guys can have the girl, yet they're still going to fight over who gets to be her hero. I handed Brenda over to Jax the day I didn't show up to that wedding. Right, for her own good. But it, it didn't turn out that way. What, so you wish you had shown up at that church? No. 
Brenda can't deal with my life the way you can. It had destroyed her. But she lost four years of Alcazar. She's got nothing left. Okay, I want I want her, you know, to have a a, a good life, okay? And just live it out on her own terms. It's I, it, it's, it's gonna be like my, my final present to her. I mean if if, if you don't object. Because you're hoping she'll use it to leave town? It's what she says she wants. Of course, she said that she didn't want to see you, yet she set up that rendezvous at the church. Mm -hmm. She didn't want her jacks, but somehow he wound up getting shot anyway. Look, I am trying to be patient and understanding about Brenda, but I love you, Sonny, and I... You know, I'm just going to be honest here. Um, I don't know how long I can put up with it. Look, I know that truly this is killing you, mm -hmm. okay? And I don't want you to be hurt, but this is, is it's going to be over soon. No, it won't be over until she gets out of town. So the sooner you give her the money, the sooner she can go. Really, you know what? I don't mean to be rude here, but why put off till tomorrow what you can take care of tonight? So you want me to give Brenda the check tonight? Yeah, I do. I wasn't going to. Scott, I want the document back. You blackmailed me into signing about Sonny's affair with Alexis. Not on your life. That ace up my sleeve is going to win me the election. No, it's going to cost you the election, as well as your relationship with my mother. If you don't tear up the document, I'm going to go to Sonny, and then he's going to go to Alexis and warn her, and then he's going to make sure that every lying, scheming thing that you have ever done shows up on the front of the paper. Well, you know, you got to give the public a little credit. They might see me as a the, crusader out my there, mother, wiping you know, out... The relationship with her will certainly be over as soon as she finds out you tried to take my son from me. Uh, never mind about that. You were stalling for time. You knew Sonny was alive. Okay, Scott, I have the upper hand now. You can, you can give me the documents, or you can lose the election, really. It's all your choice. Okay, copies. Is that it? That's it. Thank you. I'm glad you're here instead of alone at the cottage. Yeah. The quarter mains have been great. You know, you don't have to depend on that. Roy DeLuca uh, bought a pier that I wanted with Alcazar's money. And um, he's breaking all ties with Alcazar, so he turned the pier over to me. It's, it's worth about $2 million. I'm not going to pay Alcazar for it, so I'd rather pay you. Oh, wait, you want to you wanna pay me for something that belongs to Louise? Well, I, th I think, you know... You're worth a lot more than $2 dollars, you know, for the years of, of life that he wasted. Yeah, you know what? Try this. Tell me the truth. You need me to leave town? Do whatever you want to Alexis. Drag her through the mud, whatever it takes to win the election. Okay, but you leave me and Sonny out of this. We never spoke. Okay, but one condition. This is compensation for the time you lost with Alcazar. I chose to be with Alcazar. I was wrong, obviously, but I don't deserve to be compensated for anything. It'll, it'll buy your independence and how you feel about being supported. You know what, could you just shut up? I mean, I, you just, you're making me feel like I'm some sort of charity you're contributing to. 
So you take help from the Quartermains, but not from me. I thought you wanted to go to Europe, live on your own terms. Just you can do that with this. You know, there's a big difference between me taking money from you and borrowing money from the Quartermains. This is Aquazar's money. He owes you. Just take it. It's what you want, right? No, it sounds like it's what you want. Is this about Carly? Discuss this with Carly. And? Did she beg you to get me out of town, or...? <laughs> Carly's not much for begging. Mm. But yeah, it's true, she doesn't want you here. But that's not why I'm here. I listened to you, uh... <clears throat> while Jason kept you... in the safe house. I was on the other side of the wall, and I heard... what you want. And I just want to make sure that you get it. So that was so important you had to come here tonight. It was very urgent. Did you want to see me? Come on. Oh, on come here. on. Yeah, you still can't tell the truth, huh? Such a good liar. But you're intolerant of anyone lying to you. <sighs> I'm happy for you that you found someone who can put up with all that so will it make your relationship better if I leave town is that why you want me to believe that you died at the church my marriage to Carly has nothing to do with you she's my wife I love her nothing's gonna change that not you nothing so if you want to stay stay if you want to go go if you want to move next door you know nothing's gonna affect Carly and me well good I'm staying I'm not going back to Europe and I don't want your money so well, that's what you wanted. What? You suddenly changed your mind? I mean, what, 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 were you mad at me? So you want to take the opposite of what I want so you don't get hurt? Am I mad at you? <laughs> you? I mean, you, you really are the most self-involved man I've ever met in my whole entire life. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Uh -huh. Staying here because Jack's maybe paralyzed. Wow, look at that. Something your $2 million can't fix. Staying here until I know he's okay, or until he asks me to leave. I should have known this was too easy. Well, just hear me out. What do you want now, Scott? Well, I don't want you to monkey around with my relationship with Bobby. Why would I? I have every confidence in the world that you will mess that up yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. You serious about my mother? Yes, I am, and I don't want a decision made in the heat of the moment to uh, come back and bite us. Like the affidavit. Don't touch me. As far as I'm concerned, there never was an affidavit. Just like... Sonny never slept with Alexis, just like you never tried to blackmail me by threatening to take my son. I guess I can't tell my mother about anything that didn't happen. Glad to hear it. You want a button? I got that file you asked for, Mr. Baldwin. Michael's missed his first week of school, which isn't a big deal, but his teachers wanted to um, see us. Is 3 o'clock tomorrow okay for you? 3 o'clock's fine, yeah. Um, is it going to be just you and me, or is Michael coming? No, it's just us. They want to um, talk to us about what he's missed and what our expectations are. Well, I mean, he's in first grade. I mean, we're, we're supposed to be having fun, and maybe... We're, Trying to read, you know, run, spot, run. I mean, what? It's okay, I can go by myself. I'm... Carly. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. You are showing, you know, self-control, not asking, you know, about it. About Brenda? Well, I can see something's going on. But I don't know what it is. I don't know if you're upset. 
maybe because she's she's leaving or because she's staying. Brenda turned down the money. She's uh, she's not going anywhere. to be near Jax until he recovers, assuming that happens. Oh, I see. Brenda is going to teach Jax to walk again. Well, maybe. May, I don't know, but that's not our problem. You know, the one I feel sorry for in all this is this guy. Since when, Carly? Well, I'm not pretending that we're best friends, but Sky loves Jax, and it's pretty obvious that... Brenda and Jax are in love with each other, so it's got to be awful for her. I mean, here, here she is. You know, you find someone and you fall in love. And you find a happiness that you never knew existed. And then someone just comes in to take it away. You're not talking about us, are you? Because that's never going to happen. Don't you know how far I would go to fight for you? Yeah, a little bit, judging by your past performances. Well, you might go away the most precious things in the world to me. And I would fight anyone who tried to come between us, even you. Me? Yeah, well, you've put up as many roadblocks as anyone else. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're mm. perfect. The only thing I'm not going to fight is your heart. If your heart is with someone else and you want someone and you don't want me anymore, then... The wait, 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 that's not going to happen. What are you talking about? I'm always, I'm... What do you think the three weddings were about? Oh, yeah, that was... You know what would happen? If you walked out on me... I could live without you. Why? Because you've missed the sex? Not as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dream on. Come on dream come on. on. How many times have you stood here, right? And and recited chapter and verse how much you hated me, how much you, you never wanted to see me again, that I was the most despicable man on the planet, and next thing you know, we're in bed. Huh? Come on. Have you always been so deluded, huh? Well, I'm not Recently deluded like... about you, okay? No. Because I've always known what you wanted. Oh, yeah? All right. Even more than you did. You know what? I don't care how cruel I had to be. I could not look at you, right? And know that I can't have that again. So I would close off, shut myself down, and uh, I wouldn't let anybody, especially you, ever touch me again. Hey, 
Um, it's Scott and Alexis's debate today, and I almost forgot to let, let it in the paper. Well, why do you care? I don't, actually, but, um, I wanted to support my mom. You hate Baldwin almost as much as you hate Alexis. Yeah, I wanted to be there for my mom. Huh? But look, she really believed that I was a grieving widow, okay, that... And she grieved, too, because she cares about you. Oh, and you feel bad? Yeah, I feel rotten, you know? I lied to her about something serious for way too long. Come on, Cardi. You can do better than that. Do you expect me to believe this sudden interest in political debate? Have a seat, madame. I told you I am going to support my mother. No, what I think you want is to have front row seats to watch Baldwin take cheap shots at Alexis. You're so wrong. She's gonna wipe the floor with him. Yeah, by claiming to put you behind bars. See, you do, you do want to see her lose. Look, I honestly think that you'd be a lot worse off with Alexis as DA. I'll deal with it if it happens. But you know, perfect timing uh, to get involved in politics because Benny's on his way over here and we're gonna discuss uh, the situation with the five families. Oh, yeah, and so you want me out of the penthouse so I don't eavesdrop. Okay, it's no problem. I am the dutiful wife. Ah, that's gonna take a little while to get used to. Well, unless you want my advice. Would you rather I stay? Goodbye, Carly. <laughs> uh, I want you to be late to debate. Uh, give my regards to Bobby, and under no circumstance, hmm. do you say anything to Alexis? Oh, that won't be a problem. Trust me. Have a happy meeting, honey. Scott Baldwin will go first. Mr. Baldwin. Thank you, Nate. Um, I look forward to an open and honest debate. I am confident that my position on the different issues are more effective and hard-hitting than hers. Carly, what are you doing here? Today, Keeping your boyfriend on us. Oh, Carly, it's your Photo intention ops. to disrupt this, this debate in any way. Election I wouldn't do such a thing. As at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts and let the debate begin. Good call from Miami. He, he, he can take care of the trouble down there. He just... He wants to be sure he's got backup in case he needs it, that's all. Okay, well, once Roy settles in, I'll have Jason take care of any difficulties. Great. You got some place to go looking at that watch there? No, it's just the debate is going to start in a minute, and I, I, I think we should watch it, because the outcome could have a big effect on business. Well, Alexis is going to win. You know, she is basing her campaign on cleaning up organized crime, you in particular. Mm -hmm. The voters are eating it up. She's not going to be a problem. I know at least as much about Alexis as she knows about me. Let's check it out. And lastly, we need to protect the busiest and most profitable area of commerce in our city, which is the Port Charles waterfront. Our enterprise system really hasn't been free for many years. It's been hampered by money laundering operations, by backroom handshakes, by cronyism, and ties to organized crime. I will make every effort to clean up the waterfront and bring it back to its former glory as it should be. Thank you, Ms. Davis. First question for the candidates. We're all aware that organized crime has established a major foothold in Port Charles. Ms. Davis touched upon the issue. Can each of you briefly explain how you would tackle this problem? Mr. Baldwin. Two words, sing sing for all members of organized crime and those involved with members of organized crime. The law is very specific. I'm sure it is, and what I know about Ms. Davis, she has no business in any political office in this state. She consorts with known criminals. I believe I've made my record quite clear. She claims that she wants to bring the notorious Sonny Corinthos to justice. If he acts outside the bounds Yet of the law, that she has correct. been intimate with him. I no longer represent Ms. She Davis. slept with Sonny Corinthos. Is it 
true, Miss Davis. Did you sleep with? Were you having else? an affair? Are you in love with him? These accusations, this accusation has nothing to do with this election. It has everything to do with this election. Your whole platform is bringing Sonny Corinthos to justice. Is that justice or to bed? Mr. Bowen's allegation. So this is why you were so furious with Sonny? Mr. Corinthos is a central issue in this campaign and this debate. I believe I'm entitled to a rebuttal. Ms. Davis, would you like to respond? Y yes, I would. Thank you. My opponent gave me his word that he would debate the issues here today. He has now proven irrefutably that his word is worth absolutely nothing. Well, the public deserves to know about rendezvous with the mob. Mr. Baldwin evidently does not want to talk about the problems in this city or how we're going to fix them. She is in bed with organized he is intent, crime. He is desperate Literally to divert bed. the spotlight from his abject failure as interim district attorney and his inability to tackle the issues. I'm not even going to dignify his revelation with a response other than to say it is untrue and that he has absolutely Carly no signed an affidavit. My past business association with Mr. Corinthos has only strengthened my resolve to bring any perpetrator of organized crime to justice. Mr. And Corinthos, is it true? Did you sleep with Alexis Davis? Was she your mistress? When did, you, when did your sexual relationship begin? Does, does your wife know? Okay, you know, I heard Mr. Baldwin's remark on TV. I came here to set the record straight. Everything he said is a lie. Davis was my attorney. Nothing more. She no longer represents me or any of my interests. Mr. Bowen has a long history of inventing phony charges. He's, dro he's dropped my name here now to help his campaign. He's been hounding me ever since he got into office, strong-arming the PCPD into questioning me on a lot of nonsense and none of it worked. So now, out of his, uh, you know, desperation for publicity, He's come up with a story about me and my former attorney, which is completely untrue. She worked for me. That's it. Period. You bring up my name again, and I will sue you for slander. You understand me? Gangsters, see? They like to make their little threats. Right. But I got proof. Hard evidence. Black and white. Don't I, Miss Corinthos? Mrs. Corinthos is a witness to Alexis Davis' sexual encounter with her husband. In this signed affidavit, it clearly states that she found the two of them in bed together. Penthouse 4, Harborview Towers. I could only imagine what kind of pain it was for Mrs. Corinthos to find the two of them in her bed. She is loyal to Corinthos. She is unfit to be district attorney. Statement, black and white, signed by your wife, Corinthos, witnessed by her. What a sight for her. You, my esteemed opponent here, rolling around together, naked. So sorry for what this man must have put you through to force you to sign that piece of paper. I meant to drag you all the way out here. It's shameful. Unforgivable. Well, you know, if you're going to get in bed with your lawyer, you're going to expect a little fallout. You're awfully quiet. Well, I guess we all know your position on organized crime now. And it kind of proves that you will lie to the public about your connection to Corinthos, which makes us wonder about your general honesty. You know what, Scott? You're right. Someone here is lying, but it isn't Alexis. It's you. Want to know what really went on, or do you want to hear more of this man's bold-faced lies? Because that affidavit that he is so proudly waving around is just that, another one of his lies. He brought it to me already prepared and he forced me to sign it. Saying... How, Mrs. Corinthos? By threatening to use his power as DA to take away my child. Ooh. Mr. Baldwin threatened me and he, and he blackmailed me into telling a terrible lie about my husband. Look, Sonny and Alexis, they never slept together. And the only romantic 
a attraction or attachment that they have to each other exists only in D.A. Baldwin's dirty little mind. Well, now, 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 you admitted that they slept together at least once. He moved her across the hall so he could scamper over. You know, Sonny and I have been married for most of the time that Alexis lived across the hall, and I think I know damn well where my husband slept and where he didn't. Okay, no offense. Miss Davis may be an excellent attorney, but no one can accuse her of being a seductress. Well, they, they, Why would D.A. Baldwin blackmail you? To discredit Alexis and win the election. Like, he is the only thing more important to me than my husband's good name. My son, he threatened to take away my six-year-old child and put him into protective custody unless I lied. It is so obvious that Scott Baldwin has no scruples, no morals, and this miserable excuse for a human being is, is a monster who... And the last person on earth who ought to be elected to the position of district attorney. Uh, Bobby, this doesn't concern you. Yes, Ladies and yes, gentlemen Scott, of the press, actually I would like it does to get back on... concern me because I have some things that I want to say on the record. Carly is right. Scott Baldwin is a liar who fabricated this whole thing just to slander Alexis. Wow. You see, I know this because my daughter and I are very close. She confides in me. And she never once mentioned any kind of an attraction between Sonny and Alexis. And believe me, if Carly had detected anything, she would have gone through the roof. Uh, Bobby, maybe she Now, without going into the details of my daughter's marriage, really suffice it to say that I am very well aware of every fight that Sonny and Carly have ever had. She has shared the details of every little misunderstanding that she ever felt. She suffered at my son-in-law's hands with me. I know his flaws inside out, and Carly has never once accused Sonny of being unfaithful. So, this is a blatant lie. And what makes it unforgivable, Scott, is that you have abused your power as acting DA to blackmail a mother and to threaten her child, and I think that's disgusting. Not to mention illegal, and I think somebody ought to come along and arrest you. Wow. Consider yourself on notice, Scotty. If you approach me or my wife again, I'm going to have to sue you for everything you got. Miss Davis, if you continue to make false accusations about me and my business, I'll have to sue you as well. I have never been convicted for racketeering. I categorically deny any involvement in organized crime. Don't ever call me a mobster again. As a matter of fact, leave me and my wife out of this election altogether. Mr. Kirby. Do, do you want to have a discussion? Or would you like to just yell at me? I took the precaution of calling ahead so Leticia and Michael are at the park. You can feel free to just let it rip. I assume most of what you said was true. Baldwin wanted dirt on Alexis, so he wanted you to say that I slept with her. So he blackmailed you by threatening to take away Michael. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. When? The night that you shot Alcazar. Huh? Which, by the way, is the night that I walked into the PCPD and found out that Brenda was still alive. And, and then you were lying to me. Oh, so you did this for payback because you were angry about Brenda. So you didn't tell me. You signed an affidavit telling the whole world that I slept with Alexis. No, I didn't tell you because wow. there were things going on, other things. Brenda wow. was back. You had shot Alcazar. I'm sorry, those things took priority. And since then... Look, Sonny, I thought I took care of it, okay? I went to Scott. I made him give me back the affidavit, and I tore it up. It didn't it occur to you that he could have another copy? Oh, give me a break, okay? No, I'm... No, give me a break! What do you think I am, stupid? I asked him for copies. I thought he gave them to me, okay? And I, and I tore... I pointed out to him 
that he had no proof that you and Alexa slept together. I also told him that he had no leverage. Since you were back and you were now going to protect me and Michael. Uh -huh. Look, Sonny, my only mistake here was believing that Scott would back off. Okay? I didn't betray you. I didn't lie to you. And if you can't see that, then I don't no, know what I the see hell it. we are doing. I see it. I wish you'd have told me. Okay, we're even because there's things I wish you would tell me too. Starting with why you showed up today. It was a political debate between Alexis and Scott. What the hell do you care? Well, you are trying to save the election for Alexis, aren't you? Still want her to win after everything she's done to you. And Alexis, because we always end up in a fight. Well, I won't fight with you if you make me understand wh wh what you think you owe that woman. Sonny, she turned on you. She attacked you in public. She she blamed her sister's death Christina on you. Christina died in my, in my warehouse. Happen. No, you didn't plant the bomb, Sonny. You didn't even ask Christina to meet you there. She went on her own. And Alexis knew that. And it didn't matter. She went ahead and she, she used it against you anyway. And worse than that, she used things that you told her in confidence when you were so-called friends. And she used it to attack you. Sonny, you didn't cause your mother's death. Okay, you didn't cause Brenda's crash, and you certainly didn't cause me to miscarry and lose our baby. Okay, those were all things Alexa said so she could be vicious. Her sister just died. She was just lashing out. Okay, so why did you have to stand there and take it? Please explain that to me. And please, while you're at it, tell me why you feel you need to defend her. Why do we always have to keep talking about this? I slept with Alexis, yeah. It happened. I was still in love with you. You know, I... I heard Alexis. I feel bad about it. Am I allowed to feel bad? Okay, so that's what this is about. You, you, you're blaming yourself because, uh, because, because, because you hurt Alexis? So you have no idea all the ways she's hurt you. Scott this has decided she hates me. She attacks me in the press on a weekly basis. And if she gets elected to DA, her, her goal in life is going to be to take me down. If and when that happens, I will deal with it. I just, I just want your word. You did not sign that affidavit to hurt Alexis. I didn't, Sonny. I swear Scott had me backed into a corner. All right. I believe you. So last I want to say about it. That's because there's so much more that you don't even know. Look, Sonny, I, 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 I have been silent for too long and first it was out of some fear and then it was out of some misguided loyalty to some stupid principle. What are you talking about? Look, I'm not gonna let your trust in me go away or, or lose our marriage because of some vindictive, hateful woman who only wants to hurt me. Where are we going with this, Cardi? You know, when you took me to the island, and we worked out all our problems, and you told me that you couldn't have a wife who lied to you. Right. And I told you I couldn't promise that I'd never lie to you again. I couldn't promise it to you, Sonny, because I was keeping a secret. Okay. Not my secret. Alexis's. It's not Ned's baby, Sonny. It's yours. first minute I found that she was pregnant. I asked her point blank if I was the father. And she said I was she not. She lied. Ned was there. He came out of the kitchen. He heard the discussion. He said he, he was. He lied. Well, how do you know? Because Alexis told me she was pregnant and that you were the father. When? When did Alexis tell you this baby's mine? I already told you that I snuck a look at Alexis's medical file. You saw she was pregnant? Yes, and no father was listed, so I assumed that the baby was yours. I'm not interested in assumptions. I want facts. Alexis and I got into an argument. I assumed you were the father of her baby, and so I accused her of keeping secrets of her own. Why would she tell you, Carly? Because she could tell that I already knew. Look, all of a sudden she just blurted out, you can't tell Sonny. He can never find out. When did this happen? The night that you and Jason rescued Elizabeth from the crypt. Months ago? Oh, oh. 
You lied again. I mean, I don't understand. I, I, when we I got back you, together on the island, we discussed honesty. We agreed that everything was going to happen. I told you I couldn't promise not to lie again. Right, right. It wasn't my secret to tell. It was Alexis's. You despise Alexis. Sonny, when I got pregnant by AJ and I decided that he should never know, I, I, I thought that was my right. Okay, and Robin, she went ahead and violated it. And I, and I you know what? I wasn't going to do that to another mother. You compare me to AJ? Is that what you're no, doing? No, oh. Sonny, I'm not doing I would never do that, Sonny. I am saying I didn't want to be a hypocrite. Mm. I still believe that every mother has a right to protect her child the way she sees fit, even Alexis. You knew the truth before I even found out Alexis was pregnant. I was going to go ask her if the baby was mine. You pretended. You didn't know, but you did. You knew the baby was mine and you lied. Do you, know do you have any idea? How much I wanted to tell you. Oh, I wanted to tell you so much. I went to Alexis and I begged her to tell you herself. You have any idea how that hurt me, Sonny? Mm -hmm. Going to a woman that I hate and asking her to tell you the baby she's carrying, the one that I can't give you, is yours? A baby that you fathered on a one night stand? You know what, Sonny? It almost killed me. But I did it anyway because I love you and I thought that you should know your child. Alexis is the one who refused. But you let it go. You didn't come to me, your own husband, We're, and tell me the truth about my own I am telling child. you now, the baby isn't born yet. Oh, so that yet. makes everything okay? Yeah, you Can't know what it makes right sense, okay, is you getting her pregnant in the first place. Well, we can go back to that again, are we? Oh, I'm not supposed to have feelings about this? Well. Why am I supposed to be so strong? You know what? I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to ever have secrets from you again, okay? So please, you please listen to me. After I went to Alexis, and I asked her to tell you about the baby. She wrote you a letter. And she chickened out. But Christina found the letter. Christina? What does Christina have to do with anything? Christina came to tell you about the baby. And then she went off to look for you at the warehouse. Oh, so you didn't want Christina to tell no, me. Is that what you're saying? No, it wasn't her place to tell what you. What do you mean it wasn't my place? It wasn't her place! It was Alexis's! Sonny? I am not the reason Christina died, though. I wish she had stayed here, and you aren't either. Alexis is. She killed her sister with her own lies, and then she blamed Christina's death on you. It was, what, a curse on your head? Isn't that what she said? Um, a hex on your life and mine, too? I don't care about Alexis anymore. She doesn't mean anything to me. She has no faith, no loyalty. But she's not my wife. You are. And you keep lying to me, man. I didn't over lie to you. Over and over you keep lying to me. I am telling you right now. Who is telling you about this baby? Sonny, you better send those people away. I don't care who it is. Send them away. Well, I'm gonna send them away. <laughs> She's feisty, she's full of life, and she's passionate, she's impulsive. <laughs> Definitely impulsive. She can be real crazy, but underneath all of it, she really has a good heart and wants to do the right thing. If Carly does something that's really bad, I just have to say it's Carly. May I come in? Yeah, sure. There's something that I think you should know. What's that? You saved me through your intervention from an enormous embarrassment today. I won the debate because you both claimed that we had never had a liaison. You lied, she lied, I lied, we all lied. My reasons are obvious, yours aren't, and yet I have no need to be enlightened. Why Carly signed the affidavit in the first place will always you, remain a mystery to me. And everybody else in that room, that Scott was threatening to take Michael from me. Carly, I'm not interested in the truth. I'm not interested in the untruths. Suffice it to say that it's over. You're welcome. No thanks intended. You chose to clear my name. But there can be no quid pro quo, no favors granted, no gifts of gratitude. All right. If I'm elected district attorney, I fully intend to go after organized crime. 
if you do anything to step outside the bounds of the law, I will prosecute you. You did me a favor. I came to tell you that that favor cannot be repaid. Did you just declare war on me? Relative term. To some, it means courtroom combat. To others, it means bullet holes and body cuts. Is that a yes or no? I closed my eyes to the violent side of your business for a long time. I've taken the blinders off. I've come here to give you fair warning. As district attorney, I intend to dismantle your criminal empire until there is nothing left standing. Strong words. Alexis Davis. Hi, it's me. I need to see you right away. Where are you? I'll come to you. Meet me at the PC Hotel. I left a document there. Alexis? Is there anything else I should know? No, I think that covers it. Okay. There's something I think you need to hear, okay? I will never let you take anything. That's mine. you ever trusted her. I can't believe I trusted you. You lied to me about my own child. I told you why I kept I don't want to hear secret. excuses. You lied to me. Every, every, and every day you, you lied to me, you betrayed me. Completely loyal to you, and if yeah, I wasn't, sure. you would never know about your baby because right. Alexis and Ned would have would have raised it as their own. Mm -hmm. I've done everything I could to help you and this baby. I even helped Alexis. I gave her your medical record so you the baby would have my its medical. Did you hear yourself? Huh? One lie after another. It's like bam, bam, bam. Lie, lie, you lie. You know what? We wouldn't have this argument right now if I hadn't told you the truth. Oh, so that makes it okay? Months of dishonesty, it, it, in, in, just because one moment you don't lie, that makes everything fine? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I have been trying and waiting so long to give you a baby. Yeah. Don't you understand how difficult it is for me to tell you about Alexis's? baby and that you're the father? Why are you making it harder? Why don't you get it? I told you because I love you, Sonny. Because I want to have a life with you. What is, you know what? Get the door. You care about more than me. Go ahead. Grand Central Station. I, uh, have I come at a bad time? What's wrong? Go on. Well, we, uh, we have a certain business matter to discuss, and Carly, I think you'll find it rather boring, so why don't you uh, just run along? We won't don't be... Don't you patronize me. Cut to the chase. Edward. All right. I have reason to believe that you are the father of Alexis Child. Please tell the next gentleman. It's just as well that Letitia brought Michael home when she did. That way we can discuss this more comfortably while Carly's upstairs with them. Who says there's anything to discuss? And look, I, uh, I can understand your need to lie to the press, but why would you need to lie to me? Surely you can appreciate the fact that Alexis could be carrying your baby. Okay, uh, Edward, my son is upstairs getting ready to go to bed. We're not having this discussion with him in the house. Fine, let's take a walk. No, no, you take a walk. Where the hell do you get off coming here asking questions about my private life? Oh, Carly.
say, uh, how is my little great-grandson doing? Michael is tired from the park. He is in bed trying to get some sleep, so please keep your voice down. Edward is just leaving, actually. Oh, I don't think you'll want that. Because I'm in a position to do you a, a real favor. Since when, Edward? You come here making allegations about things that don't concern you. So what are you talking about? I'm very concerned that Ned is going to be bringing up a baby that isn't his. And you should be concerned, too, because you are the father. How do you know? Did Alexis tell you? Because, hey, you know what? She did not shave a slept with me. Oh, God. Political candidates lie all the time about everything, especially something as embarrassing as a sexual liaison with a known criminal. You're bluffing. This affidavit that Baldwin produced is very illuminating. Did you know that the approximate time of your encounter with Alexis matches the baby's due date? Did you know that? You add to that the fact that Ned has a very hands-off approach toward fatherhood, absolutely different than he was with little Brooklyn. Can lead to only one conclusion. Ned is not the father of the child. You are. Even if it were true, what the hell does it have to do with you? Well, I'm willing to make you a, a deal, an even trade. I will see to it that you get your child, if you will see to it that the Quartermains get Michael back. You will never get your hands on my son, you barley to... This is business. I'll accept that as a confirmation of your little tryst with Alexis. Now, all we have to do is settle on the terms, as I suggested it be an even trade. You will get custody of your child, when it's born, of course. And we'll get custody of Michael, and the sooner the better. You know, Michael will be staying here. Okay, you know what? Before family, we open yeah. negotiations, I need proof that Alexis' baby's mine. Proof? All right. I'll arrange for a DNA test. Alexis had an amnio, so we have a sample from the child, and all I need is your DNA. Uh, oh, a lock of hair will do fine. Okay, you can't be serious about this. You know what, Edward, get out. Get out. Sonny, don't. Don't you. Well, you know, we're going to get results. We have to have proof one way or the other, so I'm just going to come out here, here. Right? Here we go. Okay. Go, Edward. Put this in here. Not a word to anyone until the test results come back. You understand me, Edward? Agreed. Okay. This must be kept private at all costs. All right. So I'll notify you when the uh, when the results are in, and we can uh, we can make formal arrangements then. You bastard! You swore that you loved Michael. You know I do. Oh really? Is this how you how you prove it? By using my son as a bargaining chip? Yeah, you know what? you are damn right. You are damn right. It's not because you are not gonna punish me by threatening to. Is that to what you think I'm doing? Paying you back for lying to me about my own no, child? No, stop it! I did not lie. I told you the truth. And if you want to hate me for it, it is fine. But you will never, ever trade Michael for Alexis's baby. I'd never risk Michael. You know that. You just told Edward you were willing to negotiate. All I'm, all I'm trying to do is lead him on long enough so I can find out if Alexis' baby's mine. Then I can go to court when I got proof and file for shared custody. She's going to fight you with everything she has. She's going to lie about you. Then She's I'll lie right back. And if that doesn't work, I'll find another way. She's not keeping that baby from me. Alexis does not have the power. And what if you don't either? What if it comes down to a choice between Michael and her baby? What are you going to do? Is the chance to raise your own biological child going to mean more to you than Michael? He was my son. That's forever. I have an obligation to him like I have an obligation to my new baby. <laughs> I am not set up to fight a I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Because my wife, because my wife, Kept a secret from me. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy. Uh, hey, come here. What's the matter, honey? I had a bad dream that Daddy was gone. Oh, it's okay, he's here. I know that it's 
scary when you dream that daddy's gone. But you know what? It's it's just that. It's just a dream. I'm right here, right? I'm not leaving you. You know what's good about dreams? As they go away, I gotta do this. Turn on the light. Come see your mommy and daddy and uh, you know you're gonna be okay. Did you have bad dreams when you were a kid? Yeah, I had bad dreams. They were scary too, you know. And I was afraid, you know, just like you. Does the bad stuff go away when you woke up? Always, always, always goes away. Dreams can't hurt you. I will never let anything happen to you, you know that. I'm your father, okay? And I love you more than anything in the world, okay? I love you too, Daddy. Sorry I doubted your love for Michael. You're not saying anything. Well, what's there to say? You helped Alexis lie to me about my own child. I don't know what, what else I can say here, you know? I told you the truth. And I'm sorry it wasn't sooner. But I'm not perfect. I did the best I could under the... The best you could is lie to my face? I told you about your baby. Because I love you. And because I want you to know your child, even though you fathered it with another woman. You're my wife. You keep asking me to trust you. And then I, somehow I find a way, and then you, you, you lie again. Alexis lied. <laughs> Ned lied. I told you the truth, and I see that that's not good enough. No, it's not, actually, because you let people lie to my face. You let me walk around like an idiot, not knowing I had a child on the way. Well, you know now. <laughs> okay, you know what? The baby's not going to be born until February or something. You've got plenty of time to That's get to That's not the know. point, Carly. What's the point? The point is, I don't know if I can get past this. I don't know if I can believe you again and then find out that there's another secret, another lie. There's nothing else. No, no, don't, don't be even try to promise me that you're not going to lie again because I can't hear it. All I know right now is I got, I got two children, okay? I got Michael, who I promise I won't leave, and I got a new baby who Alexis is going to try to keep away from me. I need to prove that I'm a good parent. I'm a man with a family. I would walk out that door right now if I could, but I need you. For Michael and for my new baby. That's the best I can do right now. Think of this. And the truth shall set you free <laughs> if you've done anything to hurt Alexis. <sighs> Hope you're feeling better. I'm fine. I'm fine. Got your uh, message. I see. Those are results. Yes. What? What? What results? I understand you're having my baby. I need to see Edward now. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah, well, I'll wait. I'll uh, wait. You can, um... I'm uniquely motivated to deal with organized crime, which includes Sonny Corinthos. Look, guys, plain and simple, my priority is to see that justice prevails in the city of Port Charles. Not everyone finds Sonny charming, I suppose. <sighs> That's true, Lila. I need to find Edward. Well, he didn't say where he was going, so... Would you join me for tea? I'd love to hear about Michael. I'd love to. Michael's fine. But really, I need to find Edward. You cannot even imagine what he's up to this time. Oh, yes, I can. And I've got a good idea of what your husband is up to, too. Those are the DNA results? What DNA results? To confirm that I'm the father of the baby. I didn't order any DNA results. Neither did I. And I'm the baby's father. We'll see about that. How, how did you get access to DNA? I donated some hair. 
And dear Lila had saved a bit of Ned's baby hair. Hmm? Oh, you're going to have to hold on to it a little longer because you can't prove DNA until the baby's born. Oh, my dear. Amniotic fluid is loaded with DNA. Oh, it pays to live in a house full of doctors. Okay. You confiscated my amniotic fluid, you lunatic. Edward, do you have any idea how incredibly illegal that is? Not if you donate enough money to the hospital. Get out. Get out. Every get out bone right in now. You know what? I wasn't sure about your theory at first, but now it's starting to make it, a lot of sense. It pays, you see, if you start with a due date and then you count backwards. Did you hear what he said? Get the hell out of this room. Judging from the reaction, I just may be the father. Mm. <laughs> that seems abundantly clear to me. Well, let's check it out, <laughs> huh? End this. Go ahead, Edward. Open up the envelope. Share them with everyone if you want. Open up the window and yell it out so everyone can hear because it doesn't make any difference who the father of this baby is. Well, it matters to me. What I said from the beginning still remains. No one will have any say over this child except me. I will raise her unencumbered by your male egos. Every child deserves a father. Children grow up fine without them. I did. That's debatable. So did Christina. She never knew her father, yet she knew the value of a family. In fact, she would have made a great mother had she lived. By the way, in case you haven't heard already, the baby's a girl. I've named her Christina. Anyone have a problem with that? Sue me. And above all, she's a human being. Not a right, not a trophy, not a possession. And anyone who tries to possess her will do it over my dead body. But Alexis, every father has a right. Or did you miss that day in law school? Why would you do this? Why are you doing this, Edward? I thought you wanted me to be the father. I've been looking all over for you. You all are free to leave at any time. What is the DNA result? Does everyone know about the damn tests in this town? There, don't worry, my dear. You'll get used to your husband straying from time to time. Lila certainly has. Yeah, well, I'm not looking for that. What are you doing? Hey. DNA indicates subject B, Ned Ashton. Ned Ashton? What did I tell you? Are you satisfied? But Sonny, Sonny has to be the father. Why would you do this, Edward? Because he wanted to trade your baby for Michael. That'll never happen. I see nothing wrong with trading up. What? Go. Now. Oh. Out. Yeah. All of you. Alexis told you the baby was mine? She threw it in my face for months. She got me to give her your medical records. Why would she lie to me? Because she wanted the baby to be yours. Look, she slept with you. So she rebounded with Ned, and then when she found out she was pregnant, she just convinced herself that you were the father. That way she could hold on to you. Or she could hurt you. Disappointed, aren't you? You're disappointed that the baby's not yours. I'd have done the right thing. I'd have worked out some kind of custody, you know. And fought with Alexis every day for the rest of my life. I'm just. Dr. John Lewis, report to radiology. Dr. John Lewis, Just trying to, you know, radiology. work it out, that's all. I never should have believed Alexis. I should have known that this was all about her just still trying to have a hold on you. She wanted my baby so she can take it away from me. It's a, it's, a, it's a strange kind of revenge. Sonny, how long did Alexis try to be important in our lives? Having your baby is a sure way to do it. She doesn't understand what a child really means to me. But you do. That's why it, it kills me. Like every piece of information that I got came from Alexis. She made me think that I figured it all out, and then she threw it in my face. She kept saying how you wanted to be with the mother of your child. It's all, hey, you know what? It's over. You lied, she lied. It's, 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 it's all pointless. No, it's not pointless. Sonny, I, I told you the truth as I knew it. Even though I was scared, even though I knew that you would blame me and get mad, which you are. Hey, what? I 
told you the truth, and I was honest. And it's got to count for something. Okay, if you expect me to trust you again and just ooh, go on, don't. So how many ripped up... Hey, Ned. You tell your grandfather to stay out of my private life and make it clear to him that I won't trade Michael to the Quartermains for any reason. No. Oh. Okay. I'll pass on the message. And here's one for you. Stay away from Alexis. She has a baby to bring into this world. She also has an election to win. And then with any luck, she'll be putting you in jail. Well, she can try, Ned. You know, maybe you think you're above the law. And maybe you're right. But I'm putting you on notice. What does that mean? It means my family has been suffering because of you for years. And I'm not just talking about the financial drain on the docks. I'm talking about my family. Jason, Emily, Christina, and Alexis is right. You do have blood on your hands. And it's gonna cost you. Are you threatening me again, Ned? I'm gonna make you pay. Even if it takes the rest of my life. Well, I figured it all out. Visiting hours are over, Carly. You knew that this baby was Ned's from the very start. And you lied because you wanted Sonny all for yourself. You're actually serious. Yeah, well, you are. You wanted me to keep your big secret so it would drive a wedge between me and Sonny. This is all about your pathetic crush on him. Carly, go away. And thank God that you and I will never have to speak to each other again. You are such a hypocrite. All your speeches and your gallons of tears, they were for one thing and one thing only. You're still in love with Sonny. Get over it, Alexis. Or I will make sure you never hurt him again. You are threatening me again. You're getting way over your head here, Ned. What the hell? Carly, it's all right. Just leave it alone. Okay? I'm out! Stop it! How many people have to die before you stop it? Hey, okay, okay. Hey, come on! Hey, 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 hey! Let it go. Let it, hey. let it go. I'm fine. It was the IV just fell over. It was an accident, all right? It wasn't anybody's fault. All right, just get out, both of you. Just We're leaving. Get out. We're leaving. I need to make my position clear, though. Alexis, you, had a, you knew there was a chance that that baby was mine. And you not only lied to me, you chose to run for DA so you could send me away to prison so that baby would be safe from me. My advice to you is to let it go. You have a child, live your life, let me live mine without interference. Is that a threat? Is it? For more than two years, you claimed to be my friend. Unfortunately for me, you were also my lawyer, so you you can't use whatever I, I told you against me. Otherwise, it would be violation of attorney-client privilege, and I will have you disbarred. I will retaliate. I know your weaknesses, and I know how to break you. And I'll do it without a second thought. Let's go. Knowing that Ned is the father of the child doesn't change the fact that I kept a secret from you, okay? But you kept the fact that Brenda was That's alive a secret. Can't, can't you see I, that? I can't do this right now. Please, I can't. I can't do it. Okay? I can't do it. Hey. Uh, I just 
found out I'm not going to be a father. Letitia took him over to Bobby Spencer's for a sleepover. Okay. Did Carly hear you? She's not back yet. Zan Brand will make that delivery? Not yet. Okay, go pick it up, will you? But now? Yeah, that's what I just said. Now! Results showed that Ned is the father of Alexis's baby. Ned? So why, why are you upset? Because Sonny's leaving me. He may not even know, but he is halfway out the door and on his way into Brenda's arms. I saw them. I saw them together standing in the rain, and they had their hands all over each other. 
I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I could see. I could see those looks that they were giving Even each other. Even if Brenda came on to say that doesn't mean he's going to leave you. Jason, you don't know. He is so furious at me right now. Please contact the station. Alexis told me months ago that the father was Sonny. And I didn't tell him because I hated what Robin did to me. So Sonny found out you kept a secret. And he considers it betrayal. The ultimate sin, the unforgivable sin, and his exact reason to go running right back to Brenda. Well, now you're, ju you're jumping to conclusions. No, I'm not. You didn't see them standing in the rain. Jason, I told him the truth. And now he's going to leave me. What? Now you're gonna give up? Now that you have everything you ever wanted? What about all the times I told you were dead wrong and there was no chance you can win, but you refused to quit? And now that you have everything to fight for, you're just gonna give up like a coward? I am not a coward. I am so sick of having my well, heart then, ripped then out. Stop. Don't stand around and wait for it to happen. Go home to your husband. Tell Sonny what he already knows. That you love him, he loves you, and you're worth 50 of that whiny idiot, Brenda. Jason, I can do that. That's not a problem, but what happens the next time she shows up at our door? She won't. <laughs> Jason, she's probably on her Carly, way to the you penthouse need to, you need at this to make exact a decision moment. right now about what you want. If you, if you choose to bail on Sonny... I'm not minute, bailing okay, on him, he's bailing sitting on here me. Crying is not a good first strategy. But if you want to fight for your family, I'll make sure Brenda's not a problem. Look, just let me worry about that. Just tell me what you want. You know what I want. And I can fight for him. I can do that. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. I love you. You know that, right? Yes. <laughs> Get your stuff and go home. Get your head looked at. What happened to you, okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine. when we first met, you know, not, not when we met, but when, you know, when we got to know each other. I'm not having a breakdown. This, I, I lost my temper. Because Alexis's baby isn't yours? I told you, I, I'm more relieved and disappointed. Well, was this something Brenda said? What's Brenda going to Well, I Brenda? saw you. I saw you two holding each other at the hospital. I didn't see the kiss. That's because there wasn't one. Yeah, well, not for lack of effort on Brenda's part. If you then, if you were watching, you saw that I walked away. Well, do you regret it? Is, is that what this is all about? No, this is about you. About the lie. You lying to me again, you know? I mean, it, it, we can't keep doing it. But then I see Ned grab you. No. I lost it. Well, you know, it isn't, um, easy. Loving someone who's not perfect. Someone who gets angry and lashes out. Who's unreasonable, makes mistakes. Sonny, I can't stop loving you. I can't, so I figure, you know what, I might as well put my energy in trying to make this work. There are no more secrets between us. Okay, and I promise you with all my heart that I will try and be honest and upfront from now on. I'm not supposed to believe that. I guess I'm gonna show you. One day at a time. You know, the important thing is that I am here. And I'm not somewhere devising some kind of plan to get you back. And you're here too, you're smashing our crystal.
instead of somewhere kissing Brenda. Maybe it's progress. Jason? Okay, look. Do me a favor. You, when you get in, you call me, okay? Bye. Morning. You were out early. Well, I had a uh, shopping emergency. I had to replace the crystal that got broken. I want everything to be put back the way it was. Brenda didn't come home last night. Now, if you're involved in any way that... I have not seen Brenda since last night. Well, I, I wouldn't put it past you to have taken advantage of her vulnerability and carted her away somewhere. You know what, Edward? You're letting your imagination run wild with you. I swear, if you touch so much as a hair on that little girl's head... I didn't. Well, then I'm calling the police. Don't. Listen, if Brenda is gone, it's because she wants to be. Oh my God, you finally did it. You sent Brenda away. Look, you asked me to be honest. Yeah. Okay, it goes both ways. Um, I saw you and Brenda in the rain at the hospital, and she was working you for everything. Okay, I can't, right now I can't do that. You know why? Because I, I can't get a hold of Jason. He disappeared. I haven't been able to talk to him or anything, okay? It's not like him not to call me. I saw Jason at the hospital yesterday, and I told him that I saw you and Brenda together. So what? So he said she wouldn't be a problem anymore, and... Oh, my God, he did it. He did what? He did it. He, he took care of that problem, and he took Brenda away. Jason could be any place. Yeah, but, um... Both Brenda and he are missing. Right. Look, Jason knew you wanted Brenda taken care of, and she wanted to go to Europe, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe he just um, took her there himself. He has been making some judgment calls on his own lately, but uh, yeah, I don't know. you know, she said she was starting to lose it. So maybe, um, come on, you know, he wants to take care of her for you, and he's on her side. What do you think? Yeah, it's all right. Like all right. it? It's all right. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm actually glad that you smashed the other one because I, I hated it. Yeah, me too. So we're going to put things and make them better than they were before, huh? Mr. Quintos? Yes. Is your sister's here? Come on in. I was just looking for Jason. I, I knocked on his door, but there was no answer. Oh, he, he's out on, on business. Well, he didn't mention it. Is there anything I can do? It's sort of private. I, I, I'd rather tell him in person. All right. Basically, I just want to thank him for all the help he's given me with this whole stalker thing. Well, I'm glad he could help. I wanted to thank you, too. What, with what? <laughs> well, for being so cool when I was terrible to you and, you know, caring about me and all, you know. Wow. And, and, and for telling Jason to look out for me. I really, I, I don't know what I would have done for the last month or so without him. I gotta get that. I'm sorry. Yeah, hello. Benny, wait, hold on. Uh, I gotta get this upstairs. Can you stay till I get back? Yeah, sure. All right. Hey. <laughs> so, Jason's, he's pretty great, huh? I want all your energy and resources, fuck. Jason has been wonderful to me. You, you like having him around, huh? Like I said, he helped me out. Things have been kind of crazy. Yeah, he's, he's been st strong for you and supportive. That's right. Yeah. It's not hard to look at either. <laughs> Sounds like you have a thing for him. Well, Courtney, actually, I, I did. I mean, but why wouldn't I? I mean, he's, he's 
reliable and he's strong and he will protect you and fight for you if you need to and he's really he's he's unlike most men you know aj was out of town trying to get his money back so he could provide for me as soon as he got home he took care of me why did you think i was referring to aj look carly whatever you're getting at you're wrong okay yeah. okay i'm just i'm just saying be careful okay because aj's gonna freak so this is about you hating aj okay you're obviously in denial or, about this. Or, or, or is, is it about Jason? Because I mean, you act like you own him. Like anyone that wants to spend time with him has to pass the Carly test. <laughs> okay, Courtney, I hit a nerve, and I didn't mean you know, to. Jason so and I, I are just friends. Okay. Sonny trusts him completely, and so do I. And that's it. So whatever else is going on in your head, just keep it to yourself, okay? Because I don't want to hear it. Um, what, what is it that you don't want to hear? Huh? What? <laughs> Do me a favor and tell Jason that I'm grateful for all of his help at AJ's home, so he doesn't have to come by anymore. Tell him that I appreciate his friendship a lot. I gotta go. Courtney, where are you going? You just got here. You want some coffee or something? No, I, I gotta meet AJ. Okay, get ready, because your um, little sister, she's got a thing for Jason. reacting no i'm making an observation you know what carly every time somebody gets a woman gets within 10 feet of jason you start you know nosing around asking questions no. looking for details okay okay look look, look look you didn't see what it's, come on she's crazy about jason you couldn't see it i didn't see there's nothing to see look will you look at who courtney is married to i mean aj is 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 a coward and jason is strong and aj is this is, is lies jason's honest aj i mean come on she's married to a weasel well I, I agree but courtney loves aj and the worse he treats her the more you know the more she loves him period oh my god i've got it no you don't yes yes i do listen listen courtney she's gonna drop pick aj and then the two of you will be close Okay, you know what? Wherever you're going with this, don't. Because I don't want to hear it. No, I don't want to hear instead it. Instead of telling Courtney what a worm AJ is, we, we should just... We should be offering her um, a better alternative. Who? Jason? Exactly. She doesn't see him that way. You heard her. It, it, she, okay, we well, like look a friend at the facts. Look that... at the facts. Okay? Jason has done more in a matter of weeks to turn Courtney away from AJ than all of your brotherly advice put together. There... There is nothing going on between my sister and Jason. Not now, not ever. To that image. I can't joke about Jason and Courtney. I wasn't joking. I'm worried about her, okay? She, you know, he's a walking disaster and he's hurt her, demeaned her, yeah, put her in that, danger. That's what, what I'm talking you? about. I'm saying she needs to get rid of him. Yeah, but Jason's not the answer is what I'm saying. Why not? Because it's not, that, it's not like that. He's doing his job. Okay, I ordered him to, to, you know, look out for her at the club, and that's what he's doing. Okay, and what about, um, staying at her apartment? Did you order him to do that, too? There's a, a, a maniac after her, okay? He's doing what I told him to do. He's her bodyguard, not her boyfriend. Simple. Okay. There he is. Ah, Speaking of the... Jason, I am so glad you were back. So did you get rid of that? Uh... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Well, you guys should congratulate us because, did you tell him? We got married. You're married. Well, what an incredible idea. It solves everything, doesn't it, Sonny? Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Why don't you guys sit down? I'll make yourself comfortable. I'm going to open a bottle of champagne. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Come on in. So who else have you told? Uh, just you and Sonny. I didn't want you to hear it from anyone else. Yeah, that's probably a really good idea. Hey, you know what you could do, though? You could um, order wedding announcements, and then that way you wouldn't have to call everyone and tell them the happy news personally. Carly? Yeah. Oh, right. It's not my problem. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a toast here. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, here you go. Thank you. To, uh, huh, love, loyalty, and friendship. Oh, I have an idea. Carly, you've had enough ideas for one No, night. seriously, this is good. I'm going to um, throw you guys a wedding reception. We can do it here. We could do it at the uh, Port Charles Grill, you know, just the little cocktail thing. Or we could do dinner and dancing. What do you say? Uh, sit down with place cards? I have to go. Or, what about wedding cake? No? Do you need, uh, you need money? Mm, no, I don't. I'll, I'll call you later. Carly, thank you for the... Um, Party offer. Oh, sure. Anytime. Okay, Spill, you loathe that Carly? woman. What? I just need to speak to Sonny alone. All right, that's fine, but you know what? I want all the details later. Carly, Carly, well, Okay, Carly. I'm going, I'm leaving. I'm going in the kitchen. Uh... Look, I know this seems, um... Crazy. I get that you did this for me. And I'm grateful. Why the hell would you do this to yourself? It's above and beyond the call of friendship. With everything going on, it just... That just seemed like the right thing to do. You're taking a, a legal and financial and physical responsibility for a woman you don't even I know like. She's going to stay here. Someone has to take care of her. And I, I'm in the best position to do it. <laughs> when I asked you to look out for Brenda, I never... You know what? I, I, I didn't think you were going to marry her. I didn't imagine you, how you would think of something like this. Why, how did you? Brenda asked me. Listen to me. I saw Brenda at the hospital the other night. She was hurting emotional. You know how she can get. I found myself thinking, you know, she's dying. This is my last chance. I was like, a, like an addict selling myself on a fix. She kept pulling me in, you know, getting closer. That's when Carly saw you, right? Yeah, right. She told me. I didn't see Carly there. Because I, she, you know, Brenda ruined my life once. I'm not going down that road again. Is right, what I'm trying to say. You don't to. have to. I'm, I'm going to take care of her. She's going to be fine. And then she's going to hate you for it. This is about Jax, man. You know that. I know that. Brenda's worst nightmare is him by her bedside, watching her die. Yeah, right. She died, but there she is taking care of Jax. Brenda can be hard on the people who love her. And on the people who don't, you know, she can be tortured, Jason, is what I'm saying. I think I know that. But just, this is, you're, you're in this for the long haul. Can you handle it? I can handle it. Let me help. No, I got it covered. See, you make it sound like it's going to be easy. It's not. Brenda will be Brenda. And on top of that, her, her, her mind's going to start to go. She's going to push you to the limit. You're going to want to yell and scream and hit something, whatever. But Okay. Tell you what. Before that happens, you call me and you yell at me instead. Oh, man. Hello. Yeah, Benny. Uh, look, uh, I got the information upstairs. Yeah, hold on. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, Carly, how long have you been there? Just uh, long enough to hear Sonny invite you to yell at him. I might take him up on it. Look, he obviously feels guilty. We both know this is my fault. Mary and Brenda was my choice. Yes, and I begged you to take her away from Sonny. And I did. Jason, she is a spoiled, materialistic, shallow little brat. She has everything that you hate. Do you realize you're giving up a huge part of your life so you can take care of her? I got nothing but time and nothing to lose. Really? Well, I think that Elizabeth might disagree. Uh, uh, Elizabeth and I are over.
Okay, actually, we never even started, and we never will. All right, well, you know what? I never thought Elizabeth was right for you anyway, but, you know, Courtney, on the other uh, hand, Courtney's would married. be great to a mistake. Well, that's not how she sees it. Oh, come on. Jason, she's crazy about Why you. Why are we even having this you discussion know right she now? She lights up when she talks about you. And you know what? I... I have no problems with it. I think it's great, okay? I'm actually very happy that her, her taste is improving. Of course, she started at rock bottom with AJ. You know what? She would ditch AJ if you were free in half okay, a second. that's enough. You're wasting your breath. No, you know what? Okay, well, AJ's got himself a little reprieve, and he'll be with Courtney a little while longer until Brenda gets... Carly. What? Give it a rest. What is Jason? He left. I am planning the wedding reception. Do you think I should invite the Quartermains? For some bizarre reason, they're nuts about Brenda. You're not serious about that ridiculous party, are you? It's not ridiculous. Well, it is to Jason, because he hates parties. Sonny, he deserves something for the sacrifice he just made. Well, why don't you buy him a present? You know, a pool stick or no, another jacket? No, he too. Well, there's your answer. Don't, don't do anything. Sonny, the point there of this else? party is to help Jason forget, maybe for half a second, that he is married to a woman he hates. Well, you know, maybe he'll march into his bedroom, slam the door like you used to do. I only did that because you're a control freak. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. What have I ever controlled about you? Oh, sh should I write a list? No, I'll just oh, tell you the list. Okay, yeah. um, let me see. My behavior. Yeah. My diet, my schedule, my life, my... Go ahead. I mean, you're on a roll. Sonny, what if it happens what? to them like it happens to us? What? No, I, I'm, I'm serious. You don't... What? Okay, listen. We despised each other. Right. Okay, and then we fell madly in love. They hate each other. Do you see where I'm going with this? Well, it's not the same. How do you know? Because when I... Even when I used to hate you, right? Yeah. I always wanted to, like, take you to bed. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah? Yeah. All righty. What do you think? Maybe now we could go... Well, I don't know about... Oh, oh, I gotta get the phone. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. I need to see you. Right away. Congratulations. You finally got what you wanted. A devoted wife in your bed and a devoted mistress across the hall. You didn't waste any time shifting the blame, did you, Candy Boy? So what's the plan? Tend to spend a nice evening with Brenda, cuddling, and then go home and sleep with your wife? Is that why you got your lackey, Jason, to force her into a senseless marriage? Brenda eloped because of you. Brenda married Jason because of me. How would that work? Well, see, the thing is, she wants to get away from you. She helped me get back on my feet, and I think you're jealous. Yeah, that must be it. I promised Brenda that I would see her through this illness. Oh, it's very noble of you. And no one is going to stand in our way. Not you, not Jason. No one. Not even your wife? I'm happy. Not that you'd understand, but uh, I love my wife completely. She doesn't exist to feed my ego. And there is enough room in our love to help Brenda. What a Sky anyway. I mean, you'd think she'd be with her husband right now in times like Don't this. worry about Sky. Well, maybe she cut her losses. Uh, you know, maybe she just realized that you're, you're still in love with Brenda. And you aren't? Uh, I love my wife. Brenda has nothing to do with it. You know, you couldn't save Brenda, and if it wasn't for me, you'd be dead. You think you'd just walk away. That's what Brenda's trying to do. We just let her. Dr. Blair, Dr. Jane Hamilton, Dr. Jane Hamilton. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Then you could have it all to yourself. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Yeah. Happy Halloween. <laughs> so how's my grandson doing? He's good. He's gearing up for Halloween. Hmm. Did you hear? Uh-oh. Brenda married Jason. She what? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, well, now that's odd because I had no idea that Brenda and Jason even liked each other. Yeah, they don't. Jason married her to keep Brenda away from Sonny. <sighs> oh, Carly. Do you have any idea how much trouble you were in? She already feels responsible for the shape you're in. Why make it worse? Because she needs me. <laughs> she needs you. Is that why she married Jason? Yeah, to get away from me. Not you. Isn't that what you just told me? You can't stand that, can you? It's gonna kill you knowing that Brenda lives across the hall from you. So what about your wife? Thanks for the encouragement. Oh, honey, um, come on. All I meant was that a marriage that isn't based on love can't last. And what about Jason? I mean, why should he sacrifice his own heart for you and Sonny? Uh, because it's what Jason does. You know, Jason's interested in Courtney. Yeah, she has a crush on him. Mm, I think it's a lot more than that. Uh, um, honey, I'm sorry, but I have to take this. Anyway, don't panic. Don't make a plan. Just, just keep on loving Sonny because he loves you very much. So don't mess it up. I'll see you. Hey. Hi. I'm glad I ran into you. Oh, yeah. You have an appointment with me tomorrow. I hope you don't cancel again. No, I won't. I promise I will be there because I think the sooner we start the fertility injections, the better. Good. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I won't miss it. Hey. Hey. What are you doing away here? I'm waiting for my husband, as always. How'd it go? You didn't hear? Are you implying I was eavesdropping? You weren't? Not for all of it. Let's go home. You really hate Jax, don't you? Forget Jack. Personally, I feel sorry for him. Why? I mean, you know, the doctor said he's gonna walk again. Yeah. But there's a no cure for being boring. That's true. You know, um, Jax doesn't know what it's like to uh, fight dirty. Yeah? To get what he wants. You do? Yeah. So do you. Yeah. Uh, you do me a favor? Drive around the lake until I tell you to stop. Stop and raise a divider, will you? Oh, man. Uh, well, we should drive around the lake more often. You like that, don't you? What, you don't? What do you want this time? Excuse me, what is that supposed to mean? Well, every time, you know. We drive around the lake, uh, you want something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yeah, how about when no. we first got married and went for what? that annulment, right? Yeah, and you jumped me in the limo? No, 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 I didn't, you jumped me. <sighs> you wish. You'd do anything to hold on to me. Come on. Oh, really? You are crazy, crazy oh, in love with me. Admit you it. you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do anything to make all your dreams come true. Yeah? Mm. Well, give me a kiss and show me how much. Stick. And how much of a delay? Well, you know Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, because you've been married to Brenda for over 24 hours and just spent the night last night. She moved in with me. That's what you're supposed to do when you get married. Okay. Well, you know what? I was in the hall. 
last night and things seemed awfully quiet coming from your apartment. I thought the two of you would be screaming at each other. Jason, you did an amazing thing marrying Brenda, okay? And I'm completely grateful because now Sonny doesn't have to worry about taking care of her. But the woman's insane. Okay, she's a nightmare, she hates your guts, and she's gonna make your life hell. Don't worry. Well, of course I'm worried. You hate each other, right? Oh, I, tell, tell me you didn't consummate this marriage, did you? Carly, why are you giving him a third degree? I mean, I'm so sorry, I, I was, I'm just well, concerned about him, uh, that's you all. Maybe need to get a hobby. You have way too much free time. As district attorney, my priority is to put away criminals like Alcazar, criminals who've bent the law, who have not been caught for some time because they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars.